tube that hovers around the psychedelic experience. It was mentioned last night. It's strong in my life. I haven't found any uh, real solution other than hold your nose and jump. But the issue is surrender. This is something real. You don't find people going into the ashram in the morning to meditate with their knees knocking in fear because of how terrifying and profound they know that meditation is going to be. That if they were going in there to smoke DMT, you know, they would be fully riveted on the modalities of what was about to happen. I mean, we can tell shit from Shinola. It's just that we don't always prefer Shinola. Uh, and, and I'm not like, ad, I don't advocate it, you know, people, like sometimes there are people who are disappointed because they say, well, how often do you do it? Well, the answer is not very often. I mean.